Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Microsoft Flight Simulator X. Today we'll be flying from Beijing to Irkutsk in Russia. The flight distance will be about 10,013 nautical miles. That's about 2 hours and 11 minutes. We'll be cruising roughly at an, an altitude of 26,000 feet. The temperature here in Beijing is 81 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 27 degrees Celsius. And we'll be flying the Airbus A320, let's take a look at that. So again we'll be flying for Aeroflot, and I'll just go ahead and get us clearance, IFR clearance. Clear for takeoff. Okay, we're all set. So, let me just tell the passengers to put their seatbelts on. And no smoking. Ding dong. Alright, so let's get ourselves up in the air. I don't usually fly the Airbus airliners while flying um, civil jets, I usually fly Boeing, so it's a little different for me. Two zero point six. Alright, let me set up my autopilot. I preset the heading and altitude. Actually, I need altitude to go up to 12,000. Um, this I'm finding really annoying. I can tell you already. The button is like... Your finger slips off the button. It has to be right on the plus or minus point, And this in the middle is on or off. And I'm already finding that uh, not a fun deal. I'll set speed for about 250. Auto throttle on. See, that's what I'm talking about. It's a little finicky, a little fiddly, but it'll do.
say goodbye to Beijing, everybody. We're going to Moscow now. and well, not going to Moscow. We're going to Irkutsk in Russia, which is a lot shorter. I was planning on going to Moscow at first, but that distance is a long ways away from Beijing, so I decided to cut it down a little shorter and take a hop over into the border of uh, Russia and we'll be flying over Mongolia to get there. I'll take a look at the GPS actually and show you guys. So this is us, this is Beijing here. And we'll get on course and we'll be flying over Mongolia. I can't actually move this around the uh, map on the GPS, but sort of get the idea. And if I try to bring up the actual map on Flight Simulator X, it doesn't record that with wraps. It just doesn't pick it up. It's a separate, separate thing. I can do that while streaming, but not while recording with wraps for YouTube. So this is our aircraft, the Airbus. A320. It's a custom aircraft and it has come with custom sounds and a few other things which adds extra realism. I think it's nice so far. I want to make a shout out to, well just while I'm here I'll make a couple shout outs. One to Vega Dog 2. That's Vega Dog spelled with a W, D A W G. Who live streams Flight Simulator X. And we have a lot of fun over in his stream on Twitch TV. So twitchtv.com slash Vega Dog 2 if you want to follow his channel. And the second shout out goes to Thunderbird. And Thunderbird is my friend who makes Flight Simulator X Let's Plays as well. And he hasn't made it for quite a while, but he's planning on getting back into it. So if you haven't seen it already, go follow his channel on YouTube. Subscribe to his channel on YouTube, NSF Thunderbird. I'll post links for these down in the uh, description. So we got a little ways ahead of us. We've got about two hours of flying. We'll take a look at the aircraft from the outside again. And there's Beijing under us. Hopefully, I'm really hoping it doesn't crash again the same way that it did last time, but um I try to keep right mouse clicking down to a minimum because of that. So I'll update you guys again in a little while here. I can probably tell them you don't have to wear your seatbelt anymore. I don't want to forget that. Have them sitting all in their chairs the entire two hours. That can't be fun. I would know I've flown about 14 hours, something, something longer than that too, but it's not fun being stuck in an airplane seat the whole way, especially when you don't have a in-flight movie on the monitor, or like even if you don't have a monitor, like you might even not have one that works. A few times I've had ones that aren't working. I forget which airline that was, and even if I did remember, I wouldn't name names, but still. It wasn't too bad. I don't mind just looking out the window.
12,000 feet. Our cruising altitude should be 26,000 as soon as they give me the get go to get up to 26,000. I'll come back. Flight level 240. See, you gotta be real careful with this thing. Zero. Not a cloud in the sky again. And that ground texture looks like something that you don't want on your potatoes <laughs> um, right now steam summer sale has just began uh, I'm not sure I haven't bought anything on the steam sale now but I'll keep checking it see what goes on sale sometimes you get good offers but this year it looks a little disappointing I'm not seeing anything too great just yet. Euro Truck Simulator 2 is on sale, but I've already got that game. I got it a while ago. It's also another cool game. Yet again, this altimeter doesn't work. <laughs> what is it with altimeters and not working? I don't understand. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter as much. I mean, we've got our digital alt altimeter, so that's fine. I'm glad this isn't an old analog aircraft because they're broken. Whoever did the checks on this aircraft uh, down at ground control, well, I hope they don't have their job too much longer. Zero. Goodbye, Beijing. Complete 360? I don't know. Air traffic control. Five zero.
We haven't gone very far. Hey, come on, I'm turning here. What you're hearing in the background, if you can hear that, is the actual air traffic control being picked up from Irkursk, where we're going. I've tuned into the airport air traffic controllers there. Adds a little bit more uh, realism to the game, I think, to have that on. Zero. Looks like we got mountains in the distance. It's nice. A little bit different from this. I don't like this uh, default scenery. Mesh, it kind of looks, yeah, not so good. But I haven't added any add on scenery to this game. It's not like it really matters to me, you know, it's the ground, what you want it to look like. The important thing is the aircraft and the simulation. Plus, it's a nice looking game anyway. I mean, the sky. The sky looks really nice. The clouds and weather effects. One of my friends tried to get me to play X-Plane. I think it was, but I never bought it because it was very expensive, I recall. I don't know what you guys, your guys' preference is on that or... I don't know. Flight Simulator X all the way for me. We have to go ahead to climb up to flight level 260 and... Wait a minute. I was about to say it's a lot... yeah it's a lot easier doing it through the 2D panel, but, um... What did I just do here? I'm not sure. Well... It's a lot easier to do it that way. However, I like to spend the entire trip in the virtual 3D cockpit if I can. Um... I suppose it's not really that big of a deal, but... I think it's kinda cool that you can potentially control all of the aircraft controls if you know where they are. Flight level 260. Or oh, we'll be there shortly. And it looks like we're flying over some forest or some forested area on the mountains, the terrain here. One thing I was wondering about is these days you're not allowed to smoke on airplanes and um, I'm wondering why we've still got this no smoking sign. I suppose maybe some airlines let you but uh, I'm not sure about that. Maybe some airlines do. Maybe it's for private jets. Maybe it's just there for courtesy. Or maybe it's regional. But I was pretty sure it's an international thing that you're not allowed to smoke on airplanes. So, I don't know.